today it's going to be Fonnie Willis, Donald Trump, and the pending indictment in Fulton County, Georgia. So I hope you like the reading. If you like the reading, please do like the reading. And if you haven't subscribed, please do subscribe. And thank you very much for watching. Hey, I'm Mark, and this is my journey through tarot. Come on. So yeah, it's all the rage. Apparently, uh, Fannie Willis, has, the grand jury, has recommended that uh, there be indictments against several people uh, who they believe lied to the grand jury. Now, Trump didn't testify, so we know it's not him, but it could be people that can be flipped to tell the truth on Trump. So, very interesting. Should be a great read. I've got some good cards for it. So, here we go. Today, like I said, we're going to talk about Donald Trump, Fonnie Willis, the Fulton County uh, District Attorney, I think it is, and um, the hopefully uh, indictment that is coming soon. Uh, if not for Donald, then at least for some of the folks that they believe lied to them and who might, in fact, be useful in getting some information about uh, Donald Trump's um, involvement in this uh, January 6th fiasco. So I've got an interesting uh, deck of cards to use on this. This is Liver the Toth. And these are one of the uh, original kind of Toth decks. If you're not sure about Toth, you can Google it, or you can stay till the end of this video and I'll tell you all about these cards. So um, anyway, um, Fonnie Willis, uh, District Attorney, Fulton County, Georgia, where Donald famously was trying to get the officials to just find him 11,780 votes because it's all they needed. Um, that. And uh, we're going to see, let's see, first of all, why don't we ask the cards? Well, I'll tell you what, what we'll do is before we ask the cards anything, we'll have just a moment of meditation. Okay. I don't use these cards very often, so I hope I don't stumble on the uh, interpretations. But if I do, you know, I'll just pull out my trusty cheat sheet and we'll go from there. So, Fonnie Willis, what in the world um, is she... Let's ask uh, a few questions before we do a big uh, spread. Is she going to indict anybody? Three cards for that. Is she going to indict anybody? Three cards. Is anyone going to be indicted by Fonnie Willis? Because let's face it, somebody being indicted will be, you know, helpful. So the first thing we have is, wow. So this is the, um, gosh, what is this? This is the Despot Africano. Huh. Oh, this is going to be the Emperor. Okay. And this card is called Dissension and arrogance dissension and arrogance i would say this is indicating yes but let's see what else comes up is she going to indict anyone and this is the um it's called uh le capuchin which is the um the hermit okay and so up here we have a uh, traitor and <laughs> and fake devotion faux de devote so yeah so fake devotion and the traitor so far, yeah. And the third card is the four, uh, the three of swords, which is a broken heart. And uh, yeah, so yeah, obviously these are very bad cards for anyone. And uh, you know, because there's three cards here, I'm gonna say maybe there's gonna be th only three indictments, but I can't imagine that's all. But uh, we have a dissension, we have the traitor in the form of the hermit, and we have a broken heart in the three of swords. Interesting. So yeah, someone's going to get indicted. So now let's ask, are some of these folks going to turn on Donnie? 
So this is Fonnie and Donnie, this reading. So are some of these folks going to turn on Donald Trump? Three cards. One, two, three. Three cards. Will some of these folks turn on Donald Trump? Okay, first card. Ah, this is the Ace of Swords, Truth, Justice, Rules, and Law. So, yeah. The truth is ruling supreme here. Next card, will some of these folks turn on Donald? This is the Four of Wands, and the Four of Wands are smaller celebrations on towards something larger. That's them turning. And then the last card is the Magician. Ah, very interesting. You know, what's good about the Magician card is this is the card that has everything it needs to get a thing accomplished. So, uh, yeah, there's going to be some magic happening here. Uh, we're going to have uh, smaller celebrations, which is them turning onto something larger, which is the uh, criminal uh, case against Donald Trump. And the first card right out of the bat was Truth and Justice and Rules and Law, a great big Ace of Swords. Couldn't be better. Now, I can't wait to do a reading. So we're going to do six cards. This will be a dyadic cross. If you watch me, you know, I'm, I think I'm one of the only readers that uses uh, that six card spread, dyadic cross. Um, and it's just a, a shorter, four more cards make it into a Celtic cross. And a lot of times we go the extra four if it looks like there's more story to tell. But uh, so we're going to do uh, six cards, dyadic cross, to see uh, what the cards can tell us about Fonnie Willis, this case against Donald Trump. Fonnie Willis and the case against Donald Trump. Let's get six cards and get going here. So one, two, if you haven't subscribed, please do subscribe. And there's a, a, more than half of you who watch me are not subscribed and it would just makes such a difference if you could do that. And uh, I'll talk about these cards in detail also at the end of this um, read. So you'll get to know more about it. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, we're good. So the signifier card about what can the cards tell us about uh, uh, Fonnie Willis's uh, case uh, with Donald Trump. So, oh, the star. The star. It's, oh, wow. So this is, um, I don't know if this is Fonnie Willis who's the star or Donald Trump. I'm taking it, I'm going to take it to probably be funny, but let's see how the rest of this plays out. The challenge to the signifier, the star card, is, um, the, uh, oh, this is the universe. Wow. The challenge to the star card is there's so much. There's so much to narrow it down to. The base of this is the three of wands, and the three of wands are long-term planning. So the whole, the basis to this whole thing is getting that game can, game plan really carefully laid out for the long term. It's the base of this whole thing. And I think that's what she's been doing. The past of this is the Six of Pentacles. Pentacles are value. Sometimes they're money, but they're value usually. And the Six of Pentacles is, do is doling out that value to the appropriate people. So the past of this is doling out the value, or in this case, I think the blame, the responsibility to the appropriate people people that's in the past so it's already been established the sky of this reading is a one two three four five six seven of cups and the seven of cups is illusion and uh, delusion so the sky of this is uh, all the choices that have to be made making the right choice or possibly getting through all of the uh, illusion and delusion uh, that's going to be involved with this amazing and then the likely outcome of this first part, anyway, is the, let's see, we have one, two, three, four, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, ten of coins, ten of value. This is happy family. So this is generational value. This is establishing something of worth that's going to uh, live uh, on in infamy. Yeah, we have to get four more cards. So um, the case uh, with Fonnie Willis uh, uh, against Donald. What can the cards tell us? And they've been very interesting so far. The uh, very self of that question is the Two of Cups. The Two of Cups is uh, finding balance, but there's a better definition than that. And I want to get my cheat sheet out here to, um, to uh, tell you what that is. The Two of Cups, communication, love, friendship. Oh yeah, the lover's card. So the Two of Cups is the smaller arcana equivalent to the major arcana's lover's card. So the, uh, the signifier of that question is getting just the right balance of people cooperating. Okay, 
for a perfect outcome. The environment that that's in then is this, uh, what do we have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine of, of uh, wands. And the nine of wands is a battle, okay, very being very in battle. So finding this perfect pairing is in the environment of a huge battle that's going to ensue. The hopes of the fears for this, two of wands, short-term planning. So it's going to be the short-term planning that is key in this, the steps that they take along the way that make this long-term planning that's already been done effective, that make it work. And uh, then the final outcome for the whole thing, Fonnie Willis against Donald, is, um, wow, so this is the um, page of coins. So this is just a little offering of value. As the final outcome, I have to say that um, it is a positive outcome. It means there's going to be uh, a message of value that comes out of this. Maybe it will be some sort of a conviction that is less than what was hoped for, but still guilty. I've always felt like that Donald uh, Trump is going to get away with this, not go to jail, uh, but probably have some price to pay. And I guess that's what it is. So if we read the whole thing again, the signifier of the whole reading is the uh, star card. So the star card, I guess here, is Bonnie Willis. The challenge to it is the universe of everything that is out there that he's done. And then the basis of this whole thing has been long-term planning with this Three of Wands to make sure that the steps uh, proceed in the right order. The past of this, the, with the Six of Pentacles, is a distributing that value, distributing that blame, really, appropriately to whomever uh, should have it. And then this uh, three, four, five, six, seven of cups up here in the sky is all the confusion, all the mystery um, uh, that's involved and the choices that have to be made. The likely outcome for the first part of this is this 10 of coins. So this is like generational value, which I'm going to take to be generational blame in this. And then the uh, very signifier of that question about finding Willis against Donald is this Two of Cups, which is uh, the small uh, pip card version of the Major Arcana's Lovers card. This is uh, Lovers in the small um, uh, pip cards. So this is finding a perfect pairing to get this done. But it's in the environment of this Nine of Wands, which is embattlement, okay? And then the hopes and the fears of this are the Two of Wands small plans little steps on towards that bigger plan and then the likely outcome is that there will be some comeuppance but it won't be i think what we had hoped for but there will be some some justice dealt out there so that's what i've got what do you think was i on point did i did i get it right uh, let me know what you think in the comments and tell me what you'd like me to read on because you know i'll read on that hey i'm going to show you the cards now okay so these are the book of toth le livre de toth by um Detailier, whose name is actually, uh, was actually I, Aliet, I think. So this was France. This is back in the mid uh, 1700s. And uh, Book of Toth is uh, the problem. The thing with these cards is that they don't uh, decipher like the typical Rider Waite cards do, Rider Waite cards. But uh, these are beautiful, but I mean, they're cryptic. So you've got to be comfortable in the divinations you're going to use for these. Um, so I don't use them very much, to tell you the truth. But I thought they'd be good for this. And of course, this is just a good time to spread them out so you can see the cards, you know, what they look like, uh, and uh, get a feel for what this deck's going to be like in just a minute. And uh, maybe you're going to uh, shoot some of your energy uh, across the uh, airwaves into this reading. Who knows? <laughs> but uh, so these are great cards. I like them, but they are hard to use if you don't use them every day, I think. Well, coming back tomorrow, I'll be doing it all again. So ciao for now. You really make a big difference. Thank you.